I excitedly showed my father my invention, a radio without a battery that only needed a single wire to work. As the fan blades turned, it would produce sound. I explained to my father that this was wind power. With larger fan blades, I could generate more electricity to power a water pump that could draw water from the ground, solving the long-standing drought problem in my hometown. But to make it work, I needed to take apart my father's only bicycle to use its parts for the generator. However, my father didn't believe in me at all. He thought the little toy I made wouldn't change anything, but my rebuttal struck a nerve with my uneducated father. Yet I didn't give up. I began searching the junkyard for anything useful. I firmly believed that knowledge was the only hope to change my destiny. Every night, I studied in the dim light, disassembling electronics and piecing together new devices. I swore to make this land flourish again, but time wasn't on my side. This drought was worse than ever. Many villagers starved to death. My mother knew that if we didn't make a change, death would be the only future for our family. Under my mother's persuasion, my father finally accepted my idea. He took apart his beloved bicycle himself. Through everyone's joint effort, the wind-powered generator was finally completed. The moment the windmill started turning, clear water rushed out, and the villagers erupted in cheers. I had finally changed this land and altered everyone's fate.